to solving quadratics from graphs. Um, today I just want to re uh, remind you before we start that there is a revision jotter available for this video. If you just click the uh, download link in the description you'll be able to uh, get a worksheet to work along with me. Okay so we're just going to begin by actually drawing a quadratic graph. Um, now you should be familiar with substituting values into quadratic equations Therefore, I'm just going to go straight in here with if x is negative 1, then y would equal 1. If x was 2, then y would equal negative 5. And if x was 4, y would equal 1. Now we're going to plot each of these uh, coordinates onto the graph. So we'll begin with negative 2, 7. Um, we'll go to negative 1, 1. Uh, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 5, 2, negative 5, 3, negative 3, and 4, 1. Now, for this to be a quadratic graph, it must be joined with each with a very smooth curve. So, we'll do that now. Okay, now you must make sure you're really accurate here. Mine's a little bit off, um, but it should be enough for the uh, for the video. Okay, so we've been asked to use our graph to estimate the roots of the equation x squared minus 3x minus 3 equals 0. Now, if we are trying to estimate the roots, what we're actually looking for are points of intersection with the graph. And that means we need another line. Um, if we look at this equation, is the same as the one that we started with before. The only difference being that where it said y before, it now says equals zero. Which means what we want to do is match this line with y equals zero. Now, um, you should be well aware that the line y equals zero is actually exactly the same as the x-axis. And so what we want to do is draw the line y equals 0 onto the graph. To find the points of intersection, all we're looking for is where the lines meet. You'll notice there are two, and that's because we've got a quadratic graph crossing a line in two places. What we're looking for are the values of x at both of these points. And so, all we need to do is read from the graph what the values of x are. So here, we would think, uh, look, and that looks to me like x equals negative 0 0.7. And on the other side, it looks to me like x equals 3.8. And the final part of this question. Use your graph to estimate the roots of the equation x squared minus 3x equals 1. Now in this case, the two equations aren't actually um, in the same format. So first of all, what I want to do is just rearrange this equation so that it is in the same format, which means I'm going to have to subtract the 1. So I've got x squared minus 3x minus 1. Now this is the key element of all of these questions. What we need to look at is how we can find a line which we can draw which would match the original equation that we drew on the graph with the equation that we are working with. So we begin with our original equation x squared minus 3x minus 3 and we also have the equation we are dealing with in this question. x squared minus 3x minus 1. Now, the, what we're looking for here is an equation where if I added something to the right hand side, I'm looking for what would actually convert that uh, first equation into the second if we were to balance. Now, the only difference between the two equations is here. Now, I need to add 2 in order to make the second equation. 
So what I need to be thinking about is the opposite here because I should be balancing up to do this. And so it would actually be, in this case, negative two. And that is our line like we had before, this time y equals negative two. And so that is the line we're going to draw on our graph. We'll take a line, y equals negative two is a horizontal line going through negative two on the y-axis. And again, what we find are two points of intersection here and here. And so to get our estimates of our roots, we need to write down the two roots that we have found. We have found on the first point here that x equals, and we need to read up from this point to our x-axis. And so here we are looking at negative 0 0.2. And at the other side, in the positive values, if we read up from where they intersect, we are looking at 3.4. So x equals 3.4. Okay, so in our next question, uh, we already have the graph drawn. It is the equation y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1. And the first question being asked for is to estimate the turning point of the equation. Now, the turning point is exactly as it sounds. If we look at the way the graph is shaped, it goes down, and then at a certain point, it comes back up. It turns. And so we're looking for the turning point. And so... It is exactly what we might think, the point where the graph turns. It is the bottom or uh, the minimum point of the graph. So all we need to do is have a look and decide what the coordinate is at that point. And so all we need to do is go along 1, negative 2. So our turning point would be the, uh, the group coordinate 1, negative 2. Now, just on the point of the words turning point, they do occasionally, within exam questions, use different uh, different uh, words there. They might say the maximum point. They may say the minimum point. And they are still exactly the same thing, the turning point of the graph. The second part of our question asks us to use our graph to estimate the roots of the equation x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals x plus 1. Now, again, if we think about what we did in the previous example, we can note that this equation is the same as the equation at the top. And in this case, the right-hand side is y. So we are looking at y equals x plus 1. And so we need to draw the line y equals x plus 1. Now the key here, very quickly, is we have our intercept and we have our gradient. Our intercept is 1, which means we're going to have a point, a coordinate marked at 1. We have a gradient. Now there's no number in front of it, which means it is a gradient of 1. For every one space to the right, we go up one space. And so we can plot another point, another point, another point, and we have a straight line. And so we'll go ahead and draw that line in. And you will notice once again, like the previous example, we have two points of intersection. Now these two points, we aren't going to be able to be perfectly accurate here because we haven't got quite as enough uh, grid marks on the uh, on the axes, but we can make a good go of it. If we have a look here, this point, let's bring it down. We're looking at about here, probably x equals 3.5. And on this side, if we have a look drawn down, we're probably at x 
equals negative 0 0.6. And there are our two solutions. OK, our third example, um, this time it has a negative x squared. Therefore, we have this n shape rather than the u we've seen in the previous questions. Um, but we've been asked to use the graph to estimate the solutions to the equation. Minus x squared plus 2x equals negative 1. Now again, have a look at the two equations we can see. And we will notice we've got negative x squared plus 2x. And here we have negative x squared plus 2x but we have the ne uh, negative 1 so again like in the previous examples first step we want to make it the same format so we're going to make this so it says negative x squared plus 2x and we're going to place plus 1 now what that means is if we compare the two uh, two equations to each other to get from the first equation to the one that we've just created we would need to subtract 3. But remember what we're always dealing with here is the opposites. So we are going to say y equals positive 3. And y equals positive 3 is a straight line going through the value of 3 on the y axis. We've got our two points of intersection. We have a value here and a value here. And if we want to be really accurate here, we should probably draw in some lines if we're going to read off these values. So we'll drop lines straight down to the x-axis so that we can be nice and clear about our answer. And so, a little estimate here, because we haven't got those grid lines, we can say that in the first instance, x equals negative 0.3. And in the second, x equals 2.4. In the second part of the question, we've been asked to estimate the solutions to the equation negative x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals a half x plus 2. Now again, this first equation, first part of the equation, is the same as the one that we started with. So that is our um, that is our quadratic curve. This is the line that we need to add ourselves. So a half x plus 2, once again we've got our gradient, our gradient of a half, our intercept of 2. And so that will mean we want a point at 2. And now for every one across we only want to go half a square. So I'm going to move 2 along and 1 up and mark 2 along and 1 up. I've got enough points now to draw a straight line graph and I'll change the colours this time. Let's have a red line. I'll draw that through. So that is the line um, y equals a half x plus 2. We want our points of interception. Now again, I'm just going to remove a couple of the pieces we had before. Um, because our points of intersection now are very close, we have a point here and a point here. So again, all I want to do is I want to draw in the values which represent. So we drop down from the points of intersection so we can read from our x-axis. This time we're looking at... Um, x equals negative 0 0.9 and at the right hand side in the positive values very close to our answer from before x equals 2.3 so our last question is a real exam question it came from the edexcel paper in june 2017 and at this point, if you'd like to stop the video and have a go at the question yourself, please do. Otherwise, I'm going to go through our method. Now, this question is slightly different to the ones that we have seen previously. Because if we have a look at the two equations, x squared minus 2x plus 3 
is very much different to x squared minus 3x minus 1. And so we need to think about how we can compare the two equations together to see what links them. So we will begin with our original equation. x squared minus 2x plus 3. And underneath, x squared minus 3x minus 1. And what we're looking for here is how we would turn the first equation into the second. So x squared to x squared. We don't need to do anything with those. Negative 2x to negative 3x, well, that would mean subtracting x from positive 3 to negative 1 I would need to subtract 4 this is what helps create the right hand side of our equation we want the opposite of what we have just created and so we need x plus Four. This is now going to be the line that we are going to draw. Once again, we have a gradient and an intercept. And we'll use those two values in order to draw our line. The intercept is at 4. So we're going to draw that point in. We have no number in front of the x, which means the gradient is 1. So for every 1 across, we're going to go up 1. 1 across up one, one across, up one. We now have all of the points we need, and we can add a few more, but we can draw in our straight line. That is the equation, x plus four. And so we need to now find our points of intersection. We'll highlight them again, one there and one there. And just to finish off, we'll draw in some lines so we can read our x values off. Drop the line down, drop a line down, and we can now read from there our two possible solutions. It would look like here in the uh, negative section, x equals negative naught point two and in the positive section we're looking at probably it's in between 3.2 and 3.4 so x equals 